Hey y'all. Okay. So this is my video. This I'm Katie and this is my experiment on prayer. Go watch the last two videos if you haven't watched those to understand that. So this is my video on my journey. Why prayer has become my thing in my head. I mean, I know it's lots of people's thing. It's not just my thing, but this is why it's become such a prominent thing in my life to the point where I uh, have chosen it as one of my primary ministries in life. So, um, 14 years ago, my mother passed away from colon cancer. A year before she passed away, um, she, uh, when she was diagnosed with stage four colon cancer, um, we, as a very uh, uh, faith-filled family um, and Bible-believing family, um, began praying fervently along with our, you know, church family and everybody else around us um, for her healing. And um, the Bible tells us in um, Matthew 17, 20, um, I tell you the truth. This is Jesus talking. If you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, move from here to there and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. So we had, I tell you for sure, that we had beyond the size of a mustard seed of faith. And not just we, but me. I know that I believed beyond the size of a mustard seed. And um, she passed away a year later. And so we had all these prayer things, prayer vigils, and um, I was praying fervently. And I would not even let people around me talk about, well, I wouldn't accept the talk um, that she might, pass away or that death was near because I didn't want to go on the record anywhere in my life as having no faith that God could still heal her um, down to just, it was, it was the night that she died that that was the um, time when I finally uh, let her go. And uh, that's another personal story. But anyway, <clears throat> so she died. And fortunately for me, this is just one of my things, I didn't get angry at God. I don't, I don't, um, have anything against people getting angry at God for things. Cause I know that's just part of people's faith journey and all that kind of stuff. But at that time I did not get angry at God. I just was more perplexed and confused than anything else. And I wanted to dig in deep and try to figure out this prayer thing because well, the faith thing, which goes along with prayer, um, because I didn't understand why she died, given what faith we did have, and given what God tells us in his, uh, in scripture, in his word. So that was my start, and, um, I, uh, have been on that journey ever since, uh, and, um, I haven't, um, I think I talk about this in the next video. I say that because I did the video last week and I'm going to post it as the video after this, um, that I don't have a problem admitting what I don't understand now. Whereas before, um, it was just either frustrating to me or I just would keep quiet what I didn't understand. And now, um, I don't have a problem admitting what I don't understand. And so, um, there's a lot that I don't understand about, um, unanswered prayer. But my journey in prayer started with a big, ginormous unanswered prayer. And there's been plenty of unanswered prayers since then. And by unanswered prayers, I just mean prayers that weren't answered in the way that I had prayed or expected. I don't mean that God um, doesn't answer prayers because th that, that verbiage can be argued. And I'm not arguing the verbiage right now. I'm just going with what the way we usually refer to unanswered prayers. So anyway... That's where my journey started and what launched it all. And it's been a great, um, a great journey. And you know, the interesting thing is that so many of these books that I go from, um, that I have gone from and um, come to, have come from my mom's library of um, books that she read. And she was really big into prayer and faith. And so she left an incredible legacy of the very same thing that I'm exploring because of her death. Um, it's such an ironic blessing and, um, I very much appreciate it. It's a treasure. So that's it. See you in the next video.